In this tutorial, we're going to do an animated 3D model of a hurricane. Um, this hurricane is specifically Irma, but I'm going to give you the information where you can get the satellite imagery to do the 3D models of whichever hurricane that you would like to do. You can see it down here. I've got a couple of frames already, already animated for this model, and we're going to use just an image of the hurricane from the satellite, and we're going to use a displacement map to do our animations. So I'm going to start over with a plane, and the plane that I have here, I went ahead and put 100 length and 100 width segments in here. Uh, that just gives us the detail. And I went to this website, and on this website I chose the HTML5 image loop, the short one under visible. And that brings you to this screen. And you can see that each of these are images, and they're actually scrolling through the satellite imagery here. You can click Stop, and you can cycle through each image individually. And so this is where I got the screenshots from. I would take a screenshot of this, put it in Photoshop, advance to the next picture, take a screenshot, put it in Photoshop as a separate layer. I just took a screenshot, I cut out each frame of the satellite. So for instance, you can see here, this is the satellite imagery of the hurricane. So when I took a screenshot, this is what I got. I just simply came up, I cropped out the image. and that gave me the rough picture to use. And then I tweaked the colors a little bit, and you do need Photoshop or GIMP or something like that to do this. What I did was I came up to Image, I went down to Adjustments, and I went down to Replace Color, and I grabbed this gray down here, some of the darkest gray that I could find, so it's going to replace that color with black. So I took all of this out, and I got this dark black around the hurricane. And that allowed us to be able to pull these clouds up when we do our displacement map. What I ended up with after I did all of that is I have different layers, and I saved each layer. And the trick to this is you want to save each layer as a JPEG or a PNG, whatever you decide to save it as, but you want to save it in sequence. So as you can see here, these are my pictures of the satellite imagery, and I saved it as 1001, 1002, 1003. This will be very important in just a minute. So we'll go back to 3D Max. First thing I'll do is I'm going to add our picture on here so we can just see what we're working with. So shortcut M on the keyboard. I just came up here. I used the compact material editor here. And we'll come down here, add a bitmap. And I want to select the very first picture, so the 1001. I want to come down here and I want to make sure that the sequence is checked and then we click open and then you'll get this dialog box we want it to start on frame 0 and we want it to go every frame and it's going to automatically show that we have three pictures so it's going to end on frame 2 0 being the first frame 1's the second frame 2's the third frame and we'll click OK I'm going to go ahead and apply that picture turn it on and we can see we've got that satellite imagery there and if we scrub through we have the movement 
So now we need to add our displacement map. So we're going to go up to our modifier, come down to displace. We're going to do the same thing with the bitmap. We're going to click on this none. And we're going to grab that first picture, which is the 1001. Make sure that sequence is selected. And click open. We'll get the same dialog box. We want to leave it the same. And then we're going to pull it up a little bit. And we can see it's already working. Now we want to smooth this out a little bit because we've got a bunch of little points in here. So we're going to come down to blur. And your blur may have to be more or less than mine. Basically, I just pull it down to where it looks like it needs to look. and then it should be animated. And then obviously the more pictures you have in here the better your animation is going to turn out. 